So we're now using nested loops. However, let's start, whoop, I didn't mean that. Let's go back, okay. We're now using nested loops, which means a loop inside of a loop. You should have done that on number 31 or number 30 as well. So before we add our nested loop, the, or I guess the big loop around everything, we need to make sure we create one successful sequence. So we know, because they're helping us here, that we're gonna have this beaver five times. And if we look, we have one, two, three, four, five. The mistake that most people make is they put that repeat five on right away. We are gonna add that later. Let's figure out one full sequence, then add the loop. So the first thing we need our beaver to do is drop three logs. One, two, three. After the beaver drops three logs, the beaver's gonna need to move over that way. Now we know we're ready to add our nested R to test when the next thing we could say to the beaver would be do it again, as in drop three, move. But let's test this. You have no idea how easy it is to simply grab the wrong block or put the wrong number on your loop. So we filled in the first one successfully. We know with the beaver standing right here that if he drops three, he's ready to continue. So now I know this is what goes in my nested loop. So I am going to do that. And now when I run it, I know that it will work the way I expect. 